Hey everyone, welcome to my channel and welcome to another edition of Subscription Box Sunday. Today I have six different subscriptions to share with you guys, I think. Yeah, six. So super excited to jump in. So in this week's edition of Subscription Box Sunday, we have the Idlewild Dried Floral Bouquet for fall, the Dot Box for October 2021, the Lavish Bath Box Limited Edition Alchemist Box, the Naked Beauty Fall Box, and the Journal Junk Sack and Journal Junk Box for November 2021. If you're new to my channel, welcome. I do lots of different subscription box unboxing videos here, and and on Sundays, I like to unbox multiple boxes at once so you can see a lot in one video. So if you're a sub box lover like me, go ahead and subscribe and join this sub box lover family. And without further ado, let's jump in. So the very first thing that we'll start with was in the background. You may have noticed that the flower arrangement has changed and that's because I get this subscription from Idlewild. Now I do pay for this with my own money um, and Idlewild Floral is a floral company based out of um, California. Um, it's led by a husband and wife, Carla and Michael, and they offer dried flowers, bouquets, wreaths, and curated gift boxes, and they ship nationwide, so you can get this in the U.S. Um, I love this subscription. I love the fact about dried flowers because they last for pretty much ever. So, you know, when you get like a flower subscription, they wilt, they die, and you have to throw them away. Um, this will last for a very, very, very long time, and I feel like it's worth the price because of it. Now, it is a little bit pricey. This is $67.50 if you choose to subscribe. Um, that's without the vase. If you get it with the vase, it's $85.50 a quarter. Um, this quarter, I didn't get the vase, so I'm using the vase from last quarter, but I'm realizing I probably need the vase, so I'm gonna continue to get it. The vase, I think, adds like 20 bucks, which is not bad because this is a really, really nice vase, and to get one like this that fits everything perfectly, you'd probably be spending at least that amount of money. Um, so really, really love it. So this is what the fall bouquet looks like. It does come tied, it comes wrapped in paper. Um, and then the back, which you probably wouldn't show, looks like this. So you could rearrange it, you know, when you're done with it and you have, if you're getting a lot of these bouquets, you know, you could undo the bouquets and re, you know, organize them. I am not that skilled. So this is what the bouquet looks like. I love it. I love it so much. I'm like peeking out trying to see what, what, because I can't really see much, but I think it looks really, really pretty for fall. I love kind of the neutrals. I think it looks really good in the background. I love the summer one with the pink and yellow. I thought that was great as well, but I feel like this goes with a lot more. Now I have, I'm looking at it right now. I have the summer one saved right there and that's a nice thing. That will last forever. The other thing that I like about this, like it is pricey. I'm not going to lie. However, you can gift it after you've used it. So like I'm probably not gonna gift that one, the summer one, because I think that will go really well in my bedroom. But, you know, if you're like, eh, I have too many right now, you just gift it, because it's still a perfectly fine bouquet. So it does give you instructions when you receive it on how to take care of dried flowers. Um, so you unwrap and you choose to either leave the stems tied or cut them loose to fill out a wider vase. Um, you may need to uh, cut the stems to fit the container you're placing them in. Keep them out of direct sunlight and away from moisture. It says most flowers will last for years, but expect brighter colors to fade over time. So the, those are the instructions. I love them. It's really, really a nice quality. I think they look great and very, very happy with them. Next, let's jump into the Dot Box for October 2021. If you're unfamiliar with Dot Box, this is a monthly period and lifestyle subscription. Now, you can choose just to have the lifestyle subscription. So, if you don't have periods um, and you, or you don't want period products, then you can just get the lifestyle box. That one's $39.99 each month. If you add the period products in, it's only a few dollars more. It's $42.99 a month. This is sent to me free for review, so thank you so much Dotbox for saying this my way. And I have a coupon code down below where you can get 10% off your first box. So for the period products, you get to choose between pads, tampons, or a combo of both. I choose to just get tampons, and when you sign up, you get to choose exactly the kind you want. It's not random, so you get to pick exactly what you want. It's like walking down the aisle. You can just click and pick. There is also a survey you fill out because this is one of the most tailored lifestyle subscriptions based on your profile. I do also recommend joining the Dotbox like Facebook group if you're gonna get this because there are polls and surveys there to help customize further. I'm also loving the little happy fall y'all tape with the cutest little owl on it. So the theme this month is happy fall y'all, which is super fun. It gives you 10 reasons to love fall. I'm not gonna read them, it's like, 
comfort food, crisp air, golden mornings, flannel PJs, all the fun things. I'm a fall gal, so this is very exciting for me. Um, I'm super excited for this box. I'm also very excited for the November box because that one, the spoilers that I've seen sound incredible. And I think there might be a wearable product in November, which like, yes, love that. Um, but the first thing I'm pulling out looks like this. And this seems to be a little tea towel. Whoops, let me drop it. A decorative tea towel from... Primitives by Kathy. It says sweet the fall, sweet fall. It has leaves on it. This is super duper cute. Now I'm not seeing this listed on the card. So I don't know if this was added. Sometimes I get thrown in added things. Um, so I'm not sure if that's the case or if everybody received this, unless I might just be looking wrong at this. But anyway. Super duper cute. Ooh, the next thing that I'm pulling out is a lotion. This is a goat milk and honey lotion. It says your lotion combines the best skin soothing and hydrating ingredients, handmade with vitamin E, rich sunflower oil to regenerate the skin, organic goat milk, aloe vera juice, shea butter, and raw honey. So there were two scents you could have received. I received pumpkin spice, which has notes of pumpkin, cinnamon, ginger, and brown sugar. Yum. The other one you could have received would have been apple cinnamon. So this Macintosh apple, clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg. All right, I'm gonna, should I open this the wrong way? I'm gonna open it the wrong way. I don't wanna start the pump yet. Oh, okay. Yeah, mm-hmm. That smells so good. That I mean, that smells like quintessential fall. Like, if you wanna be in the fall mood, slather your body in this stuff, because, oh my goodness. That is, you know I'm a scent girl. That's incredible. That's like fall, yummy, sweet, fun. That's my scent description, y'all. <laughs> It smells so good. All right, the next thing out, I think is a mug. It is a mug and it says, whatever spices your pumpkin. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I actually really like the mugs we receive in the box. The handle's the right size, they're dishwasher safe, like all that kind of stuff. They're like a good mugs. I loved some of the mugs that we received in the past. So it's an 11 ounce ceramic mug. You probably could have gotten different things based on your profile or based on what you selected. Um, I chose that I love pumpkin everything. The other options, I can't stand that stuff. So if you're somebody who's like, I don't like pumpkin in the in fall, pumpkin spice is overdone. You probably would not have received the pumpkin related stuff. There were, would have been other options options for you. So I do love pumpkin everything. So very, very excited. Ooh, uh, the next thing out is a candle and I love the little jar that it comes in. Um, so this is a soy wax candle where there were three scents you could have received and I received fall harvest. This has scent notes of apple, cinnamon, orange peel, bourbon, coconut, maple, and vanilla. Oh my gosh. Wait, what? Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Wait. Okay, I'm very happy right now. I'm loving all this fall and I'm like, breathe. Like, oh, this smells so good. This is more like a sweet apple-y fall and I love it. Oh, it smells so good. I cannot wait to burn this. This is so cute. Now the other scents you could have received, just in case you're curious, were Fall Vibes, which had Macintosh apple, clove, cinnamon, and nutmeg. Then there was also a Hello Pumpkin scent that had apple, cider, cinnamon, vanilla, sugar, and tonka bean. So those were the different scents, all super fall and fun. I I love that. I love the little cork. It looks like a little milk yogurt container and it looks so cute and fall and farm and like, okay, wait, this, this box is everything so far. All right, and then you would have received a bath and shower item. You would have re received one of these per box. So you could have gotten a bar soap, which I didn't get, or a sugar scrub, which I didn't get. And both of those came in different scents. I got the whipped soap. Actually, this is actually a whipped sugar scrub, not a whipped soap, which I'm actually very excited about. So mine is in pumpkin caramel, which is pumpkin, caramel, maple, and pecans as the notes. Let's give this a smell. And y'all know I love a good scrub. Ooh, oh my goodness. <gasps> Wait, that smells like pumpkin caramel popcorn. And I love that. Oh, I can't wait to use this. I love a good sugar scrub, a whipped sugar scrub. Oh my goodness, I... Okay, this box, y'all, like, I'm loving the fall. Now, the other whipped scrub you could have re received was apple cinnamon. Then for the bars of soap, you could have gotten pumpkin cheesecake or toffee apple. And if you got the sugar scrub, um, which I guess would have just been a regular scrub, not a whipped scrub, you would have received chestnuts and brown sugar or pumpkin caramel. I just, I love this pumpkin caramel. So, okay, the scents of this box are incredible. Dot box scents have always been good, but I do feel like the game has been stepped up recently, and I feel like... 
this is so cute. So I think those are all of like the lifestyle products. Now we get into some of the period products. So you do always receive snacks. I think you get like a snack if you get the regular subscription. I could be wrong, but you get multiples if you pay for the period stuff. So, the, oh my gosh, this is amazing. So this month's snacks, this is candy pop popcorn, M&M mini popcorns. That looks so good. It's just like popcorn with mini M&Ms and a drizzled chocolate. Um, so I'm gonna be eating that tonight. So I'm gonna just set that aside. <laughs> Um, then you have a pack of Chips Ahoy cookies and a little pack of Cars um, American Trail Mix. I think that, mm, y'all, I'm happy. Then last but not least, the period product that I chose, I just choose the Playtex Sport regular tampons. Again, if that's not your thing and you prefer pads or you prefer a different tampon, then you would fill that out in your profile. So that's just what I receive. So that is everything in the dot box for October. Genuinely, I thought this was such a good dot box. Like I love this and I know that November is gonna be even better. So I cannot wait for the November box. Oh my goodness, I'm very, very happy. This put me in a really good mood. We got our fall flowers, we got our fall goodies. Let's continue down that path. But also let me know your thoughts on this month's dog box. Did I say that yet? I don't know, but let me know your thoughts because are you excited about this as I am? That was not proper English, but you get, I'm excited, can't talk. What do you think about the dog box? Oh my gosh, and happy Halloween, okay. Like, how did I wait? I'm 15 minutes into filming. Like, I know that I've edited stuff out, so this won't be 15 minutes of the video. Happy Halloween. I'm posing this on Halloween. Happy Halloween. I love Halloween. This is spooky season. This is birthday season for my sister and I. Um, so very, very excited for this week because it's a birthday week. Um, and yeah, so, uh, oh my goodness. How did I not say that already? Happy Halloween. I'm losing my mind. I'm sorry. Because it is Halloween, let's go ahead. ahead. <laughs> uh oh. This is bad. <laughs> and unbox the lavish bath box. This is their limited edition, the Alchemist box. Now, I used to unbox lavish bath box on my channel when it was a monthly subscription. It was like $40, $50 a month. Now this is a quarterly subscription and it's like $80, I think, plus shipping, something like that. It's a pretty expensive box. So I stopped getting it because I feel like I wasn't earning the money back in the videos. However, they came out with this limited edition box, the Alchemist box, which is like Halloween, spooky themed, and I'm like, all right, let me let me get that and let's see how it is. Definitely let me, let me guys, <laughs> definitely let me know if you guys want to see me unbox the quarterly subscription on my channel or not. It is pretty pricey, so I might not be able to unbox some other boxes if I'm paying for this, but did wanna get your thoughts on that. All right, so this box cost $69.99, and then I had to pay $10.99 99 shipping. So this was $80.98. Maybe that's what the subscription cost is. Maybe it's $80 altogether. I can't remember. It could actually be more. Um, but for the limited edition box, it's $69.99 plus it was plus $10.99 shipping in the US. Um, I can't get the website to open on my phone. So I don't know if that's the same price as a subscription. However, let's jump in. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. So this is the 2021 Lavish Bath Box Halloween Special Edition, The Alchemist. And on the back, it goes over everything received. So we get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight different products inside. Now, they are more expensive. And part of why they are more expensive that I think I should clarify is that they help smaller bath businesses by exposing them through their subscription. I think they also have a brick and mortar store as well, but I just, I think that's why their box is the price it is, is because they want to make sure that these smaller companies are getting their pay. And because of that, I totally have respect for that. Part of why I pay so much for Idlewild is because I know I'm supporting a small business and I, I want to do that more on my channel going forward. All right, let's get started. The first thing that I'm pulling out looks like this. It does have the gripper tape on it so that this wouldn't open in transit. Um, so now I'm not going to take all that off right now because it's going to take too long, but essentially this is just a soap. This is a lunar soap from Wolf Moon and it's got like a foamy pump situation going on. I love the little spooky moon and stuff on that. So this is the Wolf Moon Tarot Foaming Hand Soap. This is, oh, there's three different scents. Solar, which is lemon citrus, lunar, which is sweet lavender, and plague doctor, which is spicy clove. And I received the lunar, so this is gonna have a lavender scent. All right, so I did take the gripper tape off. Now I'm gonna open it the wrong way because I don't wanna pump soap into my hand, but I do wanna smell the lavender. I think I probably would have preferred the other scents to lavender, but we'll see. Oh, that smells very lavender. I actually do like that. I feel like this is a good before bed soap because lavender does help calm you down. Now, I will say that this has essential oils in it, clearly from the scent that I smelled. It's very essential oil based. And I do like that smell, but if you have pets, 
please do your research before using this soap because some essential oils are toxic to pets and so you wouldn't want to like use this soap and then like hold a hamster and it be toxic and they die or you know whatever pet your dog whatever they lick your hand I don't know just do your research and make sure that it's safe before using it the next thing that I'm pulling out is this here this is from tub tonics and this is their crystal infused candle so this has notes of sweet sage and sandalwood uh, and then the I guess what it has in it are hematite aura quartz, clear quartz, and red rose buds. So it comes in this cute candle tin. It is the Morticia candle. Let's smell this. Ooh, it's very pretty. Ooh, I actually really like that. It's sweet. I was expecting it to smell different. It has lots of different stones and floral things inside. That's, an, I didn't think it would smell like this. It smells almost like vanilla bourbon-y, but like sweeter and woodsier. I don't know, actually, I like that scent a lot. I was expecting it to be a heavy essential oils, which I'll be honest, is not my favorite. Um, but I do really, really like that. That smells very, very nice. And I love all the little crystals inside. So fun. And then to go with that, we did also get a set of matches. Now these are from Studio um, Portmanteau and these are the Apothecary Garden matches. And so I got Rosemary on mine. I don't know if that's what everybody received and it's just, a book of matches. I like when subscriptions that come with candles come with a little book of matches. I think it's super helpful and very, very cute. Now, when I said there were eight things, I was also counting the matches because I didn't, I wasn't reading. I was just counting out the things. So I don't know if that really counts as an item in the box. I feel like that's an accoutrement. So I feel like there's more like seven things in the box, but still cute. Oh my goodness. This is a gorgeous bath bomb. This is one of the things I miss about getting this subscription is they had some gorgeous big bath bombs um, in their subscriptions. So this is from Rock and Oil, and this is their Luna Moth Bath Bomb. This has notes of blackberry bergamot and woodsy sage. I mean, just a look at that moth, y'all. Um, and so I think it has more notes. So blackberry, honey, sage, bergamot, patchouli, and golden amber. It lists more scents on the back of it. The back is green, so I'm assuming it's gonna be like a green, blue, dark, murky because of the black. So from what I can smell through the package, I really like that. I've, I've tried Rock Oil Bath Bombs in the past, from their subscription, but it's been so long that I don't really remember, but, oh, I really like this. Oh, I wish they would do monthly subscriptions. Again, I miss those. Oh, it smells so good and it's so pretty. Ooh, the next thing out is another bath bomb. Now this one has been slightly banged up in transit, but this is the Boil and Bubble Moon Phase Bath Bomb. So you can roughly see where the moon phases would be, but there is a lot of bath bomb dust. Ooh, that smells really nice. Um, so this has notes of French vanilla, Palo Santo, lavender, patchouli, blackberry, and musk. I really like the way this smells, and I love that the bath bombs that we're receiving are like big, chunky bath bombs. I love that. It smells really good. It definitely, you have a little bit of essential oil, but like it has more depth to it than that. It's got the blackberry, the vanilla to kind of lighten it. It's got the musk to deepen it. So really, really like that. Obviously, it's not the prettiest because get a little banged up, but still smells delicious. Then from Moon and Sun, we have this product here. This is the Divination Witch Bath Oil. This is notes of lavender, sage, spiced honey, earl gray, and tonka, and it does have little shimmers. They've settled kind of to the front of the bottle, so you kind of got to shake it to get them to go around. Ooh, wait, I really like that. You, you get like the warmth of the honey and the tonka, and you kind of get the, 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 is it acidity? I don't know, of <laughs> lavender and Earl Grey. I'm just saying words now. I really like the way that smells. I actually do like bath oils, but I like them more in the winter. Sometimes they can be messy in the bath, so I'm not sure if this one will be, but it's in a very, very cute bottle, and I cannot wait to use this. The next thing out is also from Moon and Sun, and this is their Dark Magic Floral Bath Salts. Um, this has notes of blackberry jam, nag champa, I have no idea what that is, black tea and cinnamon brown sugar. Let me kind of carefully, this does have florals in it. So when I use this, I will probably put this in one of those like mesh organza bags so that I don't get that, like doesn't drain, get all in my tub. Ooh, this is filled to the brim. Oh my goodness, whoa. Why does it smell like the purple Flintstones vitamin? Kind of. It's definitely got blackberry to it. Also Flintstones vitamin, and I don't mean that in a bad way because those are my favorites. I really like that. That smells really, really nice. Very cool. And then the very last thing in the box 
is from Soap Cauldron, and this is the Lip Soother Tin. This is a black licorice vanilla or blood orange cardamom, and I got the black licorice vanilla. I love licorice, so I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna open this. I'm very excited about this. Ooh, I like that. You can kind of see the swirl. Ooh, okay, you can smell like the deep, the depth of that licorice and vanilla. I'm not gonna use it right now, but that is so cute. I love the little cauldron on the front. So cute. Well, I thought that was a really good limited edition box. It is pricey. So I'm curious to hear your thoughts. Like I'm on the fence because I like it, but I'm also like, is that is that $80 worth for me? And I know I'm helping support smaller businesses and that makes me does make me feel better about it, but I don't know. I'm still kind of like, I don't know. I don't know how I feel about it. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. Do you want to see me review their quarterly box again pretty pricey so that's kind of why i've been on the fence but if you want to see it i might consider it so let me know your thoughts down below all right up next we have the naked beauty box for fall 2021 now i have unboxed the naked beauty box on my channel before but recently they have switched from being a monthly subscription to a quarterly subscription so this is the first quarterly edition which is the fall box um so this one obviously the pricing and everything's gonna be a little bit different now that it's quarterly this box is 56.99 quarter and you receive over $220 uh, in cruelty-free and vegan skincare each quarter. And there will be seven full-size products inside each box and I do have a coupon code down below where you can get $10 off your first box. Again, this one is sent to me free for review. So when you open it up, that is what it looks like. It has the pamphlet that goes over everything inside of the box. So the very first thing that I am pulling out is Anne's deodorant, which retails for $23. It says here, this is a gentle performing blend of butter, clays, and herbs to help nourish the underarms while it fights off bacterial odor for 12 hours. It can be used as an anti-chafe cream as well. You apply to clean underarms and gently rub this on. The deodorant will dry clear. So this is what it looks like. Now, I will be honest, my deodorant journey has been interesting because I've been using natural deodorants for years and then started having issues. And I've switched back to like a non-scented, like dermatologist approved um, regular deodorant for now until I figure that out. But I did like, ooh, uh, this smells like lavender. Oh, it's lavender and Mei Chang. So yeah, that's why I smell lavender. It smells really, really good. So I'm tempted to want to use this. I think I'm going to have to continue on my little like journey for now so that I don't have really irritated armpits all the time. Um, but this sounds really, really nice. So I'm going to save this for when I can switch back to natural. The next thing that I am pulling out is from the Speak Collective, and this is their scalp scrub, which retails for $32. So it says why it's special. This is a creamy foaming sulfate free formula to help give your scalp a much needed reset. Um, this is for all hair types, including sensitive scalps. Um, this helps with flakiness, oiliness, and itchiness, and this removes excess sebum, dirt, and product buildup, gently exfoliates the scalp, and loosens the flakes and unclogs pores. Oh, I kind of want to smell it. Does it have a scent? Okay, it doesn't really have a scent to it, but it does look like a nice thick scrub for the scalp. I do suffer from some flaking in my hair sometimes, so I'll definitely give this a try the next time that happens. Then we have a product from the Modern Skin Alchemy. Um, and this is their oat moisturizer, which retails for $40. This is a creamy moisturizer that is rich in safflower oil, cocoa butter, and oat milk, lightly scented, making it the perfect staple in your daily skincare routine. It's non-greasy yet creamy and soothing and perfect for dry and sensitive skin. Ooh, this does smell very nice. I'm gonna put a little bit on my hand. I just wanna feel it. Ooh, you know what? I think I can use this because this is definitely very moisturizing, but this is a quick absorbing moisturizer that doesn't leave the skin feeling overly hydrated, but it has a nice, it's scented I think with rose, but it's not like obvious rose. So maybe it's not rose. I don't know, but it does have a nice light scent and I'm trying to see if it says what the scent is. Just as lightly scented, which it is lightly scented but very, very nice moisturizer. Great as the weather is starting to cool down. Ooh, uh, the next thing we have is a cleanser and it's a pump cleanser and I love cleansers for the pump. Um, this is the Janice and Faye Daily Cleanser, which retails for $23. It says this gentle daily cleanser effectively eliminates dirt, impurities, and dry or dead skin cells. The soothing botanical extracts contained in this formula help diminish dullness and leave skin feeling renewed and refreshed. Now, the reason why I love pump 
face washes or are for when I get in the shower because I like to put face wash on my face and sometimes on my chest and back when I get into the shower and I don't want to have to like open a cap I like to just pump because it's easier and that's the only reason why I like pumps better for that and the night and when I'm not like get jumping in the shower I don't really care this has vitamin b3 and white willow so very very excited for a new cleanser I'm a huge fan of facial cleansers the next thing that I'm pulling out is also from modern skin alchemy and this is their tropical alpha hydroxy mask which retails for forty dollars this is it's a tropical mask that gently exfoliates your skin leaving your complexion smooth clear and bright it's packaged in a two ounce glass bottle with a pump that makes it easy to apply so you pump out one to two pumps on the fingers and apply a thin layer to cleanse skin you leave it on for 15 to 20 minutes then rinse with warm water um, so for sensitive skin you'd only leave this on for five minutes um, and a slight tingling upon application is normal. If irritation occurs, discontinue use. Okay, nice. A nice hydrating mask. Again, as the weather starts to cool down, it's nice to have these more hydrating products. So, and their packaging is really, really cute. I love the kind of apothecary type of vibe to it. Very cute. Now there is a little bamboo spoon in here. I'm not sure what that's for, but it is in the box. The next thing that I'm pulling out is another product from Janice and Jay. So the same brand that did the face wash and this is their face scrub, which retails for $35. So it says here, gentle exfoliating face scrub with jojoba beads and fruit extracts deeply nourishes and moisturizes your skin for a soft, silky feel while improving the appearance of dull stressed skin. The aroma of vanilla, coconut and anise is sweet and soothes the skin during exfoliation and the renewing fruit extract complex contained in this formula calms skin and helps fight the appearance of aging. Now this is sealed and I have some other exfoliators open so I don't want to open it quite yet but I really want to smell it so hopefully it smells really really good and yeah very excited for a face scrub. This is like a great like this has so many different types of products inside I love that you get so many different types. And then the last thing you receive is from Susan and me and this is their daily dose body butter which retails for $26. It says Omega Moisture Butter is 100% vegan non-toxic daily treatment that softens skin, alleviates dryness, and strengthens skin's moisture barrier. Evening primrose and avocado oils contain powerful antioxidants and essential fatty acids that boost moisture and support skin regeneration. A combination of mango and cocum butters provide a natural source of vitamin B and potassium, which work together to repair damaged skin and smooth rough patches on heels, knees, and elbows. Ooh, oh, this would be great for your elbows and like, yeah, like those, even, yeah, your feet. Oh, I, I don't like cracked, dried feet. So this is what the product looks like. It does come in a glass jar. Ooh, it smells like food. It smells like broccoli puree with spices. And I mean that in a good way, and I know that doesn't sound good, but it smells really good. So I love a good body butter. I think as we head into the colder months, like for your elbows, for your feet, I just love that super moisturizing effect to that skin that can be kind of rough. So a great thing to receive. All right, so that was everything in the Naked Beauty Box for fall. I thought this was a really good quarterly box. You get like almost a full face of skincare. Not really a full, full, you get body care, you get all sorts of things. I love the variety, so I think it's really fun, but definitely let me know your thoughts down below. And again, I do have that $10 off coupon code. All right, so now let's jump into the journal junk sack and then we'll do the junk box. Now the junk sack is their mini subscription and is $22.99 a month. Um, if you're unfamiliar with the journal junk sack, they are a monthly stationary subscription. They also have like cute little office decor and kind of just like office products as well. So this is $22.99 and then the journal junk box is $44 a month. Now, like I said, I think this is their November box. I don't think I've ever gotten the journal junk sack before, so this will be the first time. These were both sent to me free for review. I think the, I know the junk box is like Christmas themed for November. A lot of boxes do their Christmassy type themes or their holiday themes in November just because of shipping and you sometimes things don't get there by Christmas or whatever. So I know a lot of boxes do that in November, particularly with stationery, so this makes sense. All right, so inside of the sack is just a bubble wrap thing with all the goodies. And if you wanted to get both subscriptions, I think you can bundle and get both for cheaper. I think it, I think when I was on the website, it was like 61 bucks or something to get both. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. And this is definitely like Christmas and holiday themed. So the first thing up top is just this little package. Oh my goodness, this is so cute. So the first thing that it comes with is kind of a wood burnt or carved little snowflake ornament has like the twine so you can tie this. That's really cute. 
I actually really like that a lot. And I'm like at that stage in my life where like I don't really have a lot of ornaments, so it is nice to get ornaments, and I like to have meaningful ornaments. I'm one of those people, it doesn't need to be like matchy matchy, but I like meaningful type of things, so I really like this one. This is very pretty. Then you get a Ghirardelli hot cocoa mix. This is a double chocolate, so that sounds so good. And then you get this little like rectangle. I, it's not a coaster, maybe it is, I don't know, it's very thin. It says, I am a vessel of kindness and peace. So just a cute little card you could maybe write on this. I'm not really sure what this is other than like a little art piece. So that's a cute little set. Then we get this here. So this little person holding up a Christmas tree. Oh my gosh. And there's even little, I don't know if you can tell on camera, but there's like little, it's textured and there's a little sparklies on it. That is so cute. So it has a little magnet, opens up like this. <gasps> Oh, it's a little notepad. These aren't sticky notes. These are little notepads, but it just has the little person holding the tree. Oh, that's really cute. I love that. Oh my goodness. Okay, wait, cause y'all, I'm a, I'm a fall gal. Like I love fall. I'm so excited it's fall, but I'm also really excited for Christmas. So uh, this video is hitting every note. The next thing out is a little pen and it has a little red tassel and gold bell on it. So just a cute little like Christmas pen. Though I, that might get annoying. I'm not gonna lie. If you're writing and it's just like dingle, dingle, dingle. That might be annoying. But it is really, really cute though. And then last but not least, you get a little notebook that says Merry and Bright. It's got this kind of gold coil thing to it. And that's what the pages look like. So they are lined and they do have one of those lines in it. And it's just a notebook full of those pages. These are laminated covers. So they're like, if you get them wet, it's not that big of a deal. This would be great, like as you're planning Christmas gifts, to so like put the person's name and the gifts and maybe the prices and stuff like that. So super fun. You could always do whatever you want with this, but oh my goodness, so, so cute. All right, now let's jump into the Journal Junk Box, which is like their big full-size deluxe subscription, which is $44 a month. Yes, the Merry and Bright theme for November is on there. And then on the back of that, it does list everything that you received. Now this box does come with a journal prompt and this month's journal prompt is, what positives have happened in your life since last Christmas? Um, and I guess they have a VIP group where you can post your journal entry if you'd like to. So the very first thing that I'm pulling out is a Tumblr and it says, oh, what fun. And it's got little different kind of things on it with a red lid. It has one of these lids and it does come with a clear plastic straw to go with it. So this is a 22 ounce tumbler um, with the straw, which retails for $14.99. I think that this is really, really cute. It's like Christmas, but not Christmas. You know what I mean? It's not like in your face Christmas. So you could definitely use this year round. It is very big. I think this is one of the bigger tumblers I've ever received. I love the little red lid. I love that it comes with a straw. So very, very cute. The next thing that I'm pulling out is so cute. This is the Believe Shopping Tote, which retails for $6.95. <gasps> this is so cute. Um, it does have like the little bottom thing that you put in it. And then you have your little tote. <gasps> oh my gosh, I can't wait to do shopping with this. <laughs> right? You can put your little Christmas gifts in there so you don't have to use plastic bags. <gasps> this is so cute. You can also use this as a gift bag because it does have a to from like card on it. <gasps> Ooh, okay. Maybe I'll use this as a gifting bag. Oh my gosh, that's so cute. I love the idea of using something like this for Christmas gifts because it's a lot more sustainable and will last a lot longer than some of the paper bags because that get banged up or whatever. So <gasps> love that. Okay, looks like we also get a hot cocoa kit in this one, but this one has a little spoon. So this is considered the free gift. So you get your little hot cocoa and this one comes with a little spoon. Mine is gold and has a little stocking on it. Oh, that's so cute. And it's nice quality. And you can just like mix a little cocoa. Oh my God, that's so cute. I, oh my gosh, I'm so ready for Christmas. I know it's like Halloween when I'm posting this, but like it's fine. The next thing I have is a scented soy candle. This is the Cozy Winter Nights candle. Um, this is by Lizash and retails for $10. Oh, okay, wait, this smells like lavender Christmas. <laughs> I wasn't expecting that, but it smells very, very nice. Cool. Again, this smells like essential oil, so always do your research with essential oils. Make sure you're doing your research about your pets, but this smells very, very good. So the next thing that I'm pulling out says, have yourself a merry little Christmas. This is their Christmas pocket notepad by Graphique, which retails for $5.99. Similar to the one we got in the smaller one, but this is a different design and it just says notes and has a little gold outline. Again, these are just like notes, but they're not like sticky notes, but a cute little 
pocket thing. It does have the little magnetized closure. Then we have another notebook. This is the Merriam Bright Journal by Journal Junk Box, which retails for $18.99. This one does have a different pattern than the other one that we received. So if you did get both, it would have a different design, but it's the same concept, same paper, um, you know, same laminated fronts and back with the golden bronzy coil. Very, very cute. Then we have a Merry and Bright sticker sheet um, by Journal Junk Box, which retails for $7.99. It has some really cute holiday inspired stickers. I like to put these on like cards when I send them, or you could put them on gifts or gift tags just to kind of make them a little bit more fun for the holiday season. So love a good holiday sticker sheet. All right, then there's a little gold bag. Oh, okay, so inside you get some holiday washi tape. Um, this is the Winter Leaves one, which retails for $3.99. Very, very cute. Oh, it says Merry Christmas. Very cute. You can put this on cards, journaling, all that kind of stuff, bullet journals. Super fun. I love washi tape. And then it has another little jingle bell pen. This one is in a beautiful green color, still with a red tassel and a little bell. And this retails for $7. And then there is one more thing in here, but I'm not seeing it on the sheet. Maybe I'm just blind, but it has a set of 16 holiday gift tags. It says happy everything on them. So these are little to and from tags. I'm guessing there might be some with different sayings on them. And they do have that kind of um, candy cane twisted rope to tie things. So these are some really pretty gift tags. They do have like the um, kind of sparkly bits. So these are some very pretty, very nice gift tags to wrap gifts with. So that is everything in the journal junk box for November and the journal junk sack for November. I love the kind of Christmas vibes, Christmas themes. I know not everybody celebrates Christmas. If you don't, that might be a little bit weird, but I do feel like this is a, this is just a fun theme and I'm very excited about it. So that's also everything in this edition of Subscription Box Sunday. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below. What was your favorite box? What was your favorite thing of the video? I think my favorite is gonna have to be the flowers. I really love the flowers, but maybe one of the, the mug and dot box or the candle, maybe that. I don't know. There's a lot of good stuff in this video. So definitely let me know your thoughts down in the comments below and I will see you in my next video.